What's up guys, it's Takaya and welcome to my channel. If you're new, hi, um, I'm Takaya. <laughs> I know, I'm always changing up like my setup. This probably looks a little wretch. I tried to make it cute, hence the little rope light. <laughs> I don't know, but we're just gonna go with it for today. Hopefully, at least the lighting's good, you know what I'm saying? So ignore that. Um, <laughs> today I wanted to do a chill, get ready with me sort of thing. Don't know if it's gonna be a chit chat because I don't know how much I'm gonna talk. I probably will talk. So, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I got my cherry coke. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with my eyebrows and I always do my eyebrows first with nothing on my face because I like my face to kind of be not dry but not like no foundation, anything on there to make it slip. So I do those first, even before primer. And I use a new brow pencil. Um, I have a brow tutorial, like how I fill them in, um, on my channel. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the little cards, whichever side it is. Um, but in that video, I used a different eyebrow pencil. And I've been using this one lately by Benefit, the Precisely My Brow. Mine's in the shade 5, number 5. And I really like this pencil. It glides on really smooth. And it's kind of like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Like the little pencil shape. Um, in my brow tutorial, I used the brow definer, which was like a thicker pencil. But, um, I ran out of that one. So I was like, I want to try a new one. And this one was, it had just came out. Still pretty new. Alright, so my brows are done. The only thing I hate about doing them first is that they just look like boom because I don't have anything else on my face so it's just like weird looking oh. but now that that's done I'm just going to put this on my lips real quick um this is a lip plumper by soap and glory it just it makes them glossy and moisturizes and it's like it just smells really good and it feels good alright so for primer I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Prime in Blur and Illuminate I've had this primer for so long it's like I love that pink even though like it doesn't even make you like look pink under your foundation that pink just like adds light in the right areas you know it's just it's nice so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of my benefit professional primer on my nose all right so I'm excited to be using this foundation uh this is like my first high-end foundation besides my MAC one. Um, I got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. And mine is in the shade 173 or Y445. Um, yeah. So I have only worn this foundation one time. So. But I really liked it. It feels like. I don't even know how I just put this on my face. And I don't know if that's enough yet, but I'm just going to buff it in with this Morphe foundation brush, I guess. Buffer brush. So yeah, it's a nice tan color. But I think it matches pretty good, though. I watch YouTube videos all day while I'm at work, and like whenever I watch a makeup tutorial, it just gives me the urge to want to put makeup on my face, or just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just play... And the makeup, and I'm just like, dude, I cannot wait till the weekend to beat my face. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just go over it all. And it is damp. What's next? Ooh, what's next? All right. Ooh, ooh, my lips are buzzing. All right, now for concealer these dark circles. I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I have the shade Pure Beige. I used to use Medium Beige but it's too light for me at the moment. I have this little mixing pan right here. I'm going to put a dot of this. Um, this is also by LA Girl but it's their yellow correcting concealer. Okay, that's blinding. But I just put like a little dot right there. Alright. Oh, why is it so cold? See, like... So I've been trying to contour my nose a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, and I'm blending it in with my Beauty Blender. What was I about to say? Yeah, that, the yellow corrector really brightened it a lot. Ooh! Under eyes are bright. Um, before I go and set that, I want a cream contour too. And I'm going to also use LA Girl, and this is in the shade Chestnut. I did have um, Dark Cocoa, but that one was just too dark for me. And this one is still... It's not too dark. I feel like this one is like a perfect color right here. I don't want to mess up my little baby hairs, but... I'm gonna do that right there. Do I want to cream contour my nose? I don't know. I'm new to this contouring the nose, but I'm gonna try it. Just a little bit. I didn't even do it straight. Oh no, let me see. I have this little Morphe E15 brush. I'm gonna blend out my nose first. Sometimes if I don't if I forget to like add like dust a little bit of bronzer over my nose It kind of looks weird because like all the rest of my face is like cut and then like my nose is like So my sponge is not as damp as it was, but it's still a little damp but I'm having a little more struggles blending this out Maybe I have my foundation brush To blend it out I feel like this chestnut shade is just like more warm and the dark cocoa on me looked too shadowy, too gray. Not gray, but it was just too dark. Alright, so I have all that blended out. Now I'm going to set my under eyes in like my highlighted areas. And I've been loving this powder. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. I don't think I used this on my channel before. I'm not sure, but... Um, before I was using the Cody Airspun powder, which I still have and use, which I will be using today. But I like this one better for under my eyes because it's like really fine and like just lightweight and it leaves no color. So, and it doesn't give like harsh flashback. It's just, it's just a nice powder. First I'm blending this out, make sure I don't have any creasing going on. And I just put a little bit in my cap and this comes with... Three fluid ounces and I've used quite a bit but I use this like every time I do my makeup and it's only down that far it kind of looks like a seasoning <laughs> bottle but yeah so I'm gonna use my beauty blender and put it in there Cute. I like to bake my chin like with the excess not like going in again not as heavy as my under eyes but I will kind of pat in some powder around my beard and mustache area I don't know my chin like on a well <laughs> on a hot day the first thing that sweats is my chin and my like upper lip and it's so gross and so disgustingly Disgusting I don't know. It's just nasty and it's annoying and I really hate it because it's like I have a beard and a mustache of sweat and it's just like really gross and a struggle so I try to bake so it can like last and my makeup stay in place because I don't like to rub it because then I rub my foundation off and yep it's a mess so and for the rest of my face um I seen Ash, Alyssa Ashley do this, but she uses the Maybelline powder, um, and I really it made me want to go out and get it. But I was like, first I'm gonna try this technique with the powder that I already have, just see if it works for me first. So I'm gonna take the Cody Airspun powder, and basically what she does is she gets a powder brush. I'm gonna be using this Morphe E3 brush. It's not necessarily a powder brush. I mean, I have this one. 
but this brush is like kind of pokey. I don't want to miss that one. I'm just going to use this and get some powder. And this is to set the rest of my face. Oh my gosh, I'm about to make a mess. She gets a bunch of powder on her brush and she like pats it on like this. I know I look crazy, but I swear it made her look airbrushed is what she say. This is what she does for an airbrushed look. So after she packs it on, she just then dusts it off. And it just like applies the powder evenly, I guess. I'm going to try to avoid dusting away my under eyes because I still want that to sit. At first I was scared to do this, like it would leave white on my face, but it doesn't. It actually really does look airbrushed. Feels really good, nice and set in place and everything. So I think I may be just really using this method, I really like that. Now I'm going to go on to eyeshadow real quick. Yeah, I'm just going to go to eyeshadow. I have not used this in so long, hopefully it's not like stale and messed up but I'm gonna take my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade 3 which is skin tone I'm just gonna apply that shadow whoa oh damn <laughs> too much powder flying around it made me sneeze uh I don't know if I should zoom in I'm doing a really simple eye I think I might just stay here but I'm applying this eyeshadow base all over my eyes where's my phone Okay, now I need to set that base in place. <laughs> set that base in place. My Manny MUA and Makeup Geek palette. And I'm going to take Beaches and Cream, which is this one right here, with this Real Techniques setting brush to set the base that I put down on my eyelid. Alright, so now I'm going to take Sora from the same palette and apply that to my crease. Alright, what am I doing next? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this palette, my Becca. I don't even know if I should call it Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette anymore. But y'all know. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna take Cognac. The brown one right there. And I'm just going to put that lower in my crease. Should I zoom in? Alright, I zoomed in just a tad bit. I realized I was kind of far away, but um, I'm just going to take this color, Cognac, from the palette <laughs> and put that pretty much in the same spot, but just a little lower. Like, I'll don't blend it. You'll see. <laughs> so, I'm just putting that, like, on the outer edge again. I always start there, for the most part, and blend it in the crease, but I'm just going to stay directly in the crease. I won't blend it up too high with this color. I don't have really hooded eyes but I do have like a little flap in my crease. So if I stay like this sometimes I can't really see so sometimes I have to like lift my head up like you know <laughs> so I can see what's going on under there under that flap. I think I want an all matte eye today with just like the pop of that bright inner corner highlight. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and this is the Morphe M433 brush. I don't know if people would be interested in knowing what brushes you're using. Sometimes when I'm watching tutorials, I want to know what brush they're using. But then, sometimes it doesn't really matter, you know what I'm saying? Just get a similar looking brush if you have it. And use that thing. Use that thing, girl. You gotta use that brush. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of Beaches and Cream, the one I set my lid with, with this BH Cosmetics brush, and just blend out the edges. Make sure nothing's harsh. We don't want harsh lines. Okay. I'm going to go in my NYX Contour Kit, and I'm going to take this darkest contour shade right here with a Luxie 231 blending brush. I got this in my beauty con bag too oh this is perfect if you have little eye lids 
for small eyelids like this is just like oh real detailed like crease work right there I'm really just making like a little V here I'm trying to blend it onto my lid and into the crease with just an outer V they're pretty old but I either want to do the five minute makeup challenge or the no mirror makeup challenge but I feel like those would be fun to do with somebody like next to me on camera like I really I love the um I loved when Desi and Katie did it together like I just feel like it'll make the video a lot more fun and not so boring so yeah I would have been done the challenge but I just really want to do it with somebody so this is looking like a brown smoky eye okay <laughs> All right, if that's what you want to be, we can do a smoky. All right, I'm going to take a mix of Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop and put those in my inner corners and my brow bone. Ooh. I love adding like a little highlight on my brow bone because if you wear that same highlight on your cheek and you just like turn, it's like bam, bam, you know what I'm saying? It's just like it hit them two highlights at the same time it's just like oh <laughs> alright sometimes really though I just be talking I don't even know what I be talking about alright so now I'm gonna dust away this under eye powder ew hold on pause uh uh girl uh uh I hope it ain't been like that for long. I apologize. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to contour with my NYX Contour Palette. And I'm going to take this one right here. And this new brush that I love to contour with now, this is the Morphe E5. It looks like a big fan brush, but it's like fat and so soft. And I just love it so much. It makes it so easy. So I'm just going to like swipe some of that on here. Tap it off. <laughs> it's like you barely have to try. You just rub it on that area, you know. Blend it up onto my cheeks too for like blush. If I'm not feeling blush. Like with these bronzy looks, I don't really like to wear blush. Just, just hella bronzer. <laughs> A little bit of my no color powder in this flat brush and go underneath my contour lines to make it a little sharp. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Your cheekbones way too low. You need to cut it. <laughs> Alright, that was probably so chatty. Wow. Alright, while this is cutting, baking, I'm going to do my under eyes. I actually really hate doing this, but I like how it looks. I feel bad when I do it on other people because <laughs> I know how like aggravating it feels. <sighs> Should I do winged eyeliner? Should I do winged eyeliner? I feel like I might mess myself up there if I do that one. Hmm. Winged eyeliner? Ah, I don't know. Alright, forget it. I'll do a wing. <laughs> If it messes up, I'm gonna be so mad. It's a little wompy. This one's like up and fierce. This one's like straight. But it's okay. I'm gonna be putting on the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I'm sad I don't have any more Demi Wispies. Um, because the ones would be more ideal with the wing. Um, the Wispies are kind of long and dramatic. <laughs> wow, and all I'm doing is going to the movies. I'm going to be that extra one. They don't know what I did today. Which was nothing. But they don't know that. Alright, my camera died. But I got both lashes on now. And mascara. So now, I'm just going to dust away this leftover powder. And I'm now in a rush. Because it is almost time to leave. Highlight. I almost forgot the highlight. I almost did. My Morphe M501 brush and my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow palette. 
And I like to mix both of them, Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop. And I like to kind of like flicker it on my on apples in my cheeks. Okay, I have like a dot of brown on my lip because I was like testing what lipstick I was going to wear. Don't worry. Alright, so I didn't want to do just straight up brown lips. I always do dark lips. So I'm going to try to do like an ombre thing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh well, I, I like brown dark lips. So I'm going to take ColourPop's um, Matte Lippy Stick in the shade Taurus. And apply that mostly on the outer edge of my lips. And then, in the center, I'm going to take ColourPop's Chi Liquid Lipstick. This is the Ultra Matte. Alright, we're going to blend these together. Alright, so I do want to go over it with some gloss. And I'm going to use the Revlon um, Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade Sandstorm. And just put that on. Oh, it's going to get my wand dirty. It is kind of like pinky, you can see. But adding the gloss made it like yellowy. Alright, this is like about gone, so I'm about to use the last of it. Um, but I'm going to set my face with this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Ooh, that rhymes. Oh, wait, hold on. It might be gone. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's gone. Let it go. Just let it go. Okay, just kidding. That one's all gone. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal. Um, pro foul, infallible pro setting, you know, setting spray, whatever. <laughs> ooh, um, this is also a good setting spray. It just, ugh, it tastes like, ugh, it just has a bad taste. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, chill chit chat. I guess I did chat. I chit chatted. <laughs> Um, this chit chat get ready with me and um, let me know if I should do more of these yeah I guess that's it I'm like trying to think of stuff to say I guess I don't have anything to say so I'll just just you know, say bye <laughs> alright guys thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video bye bye please